S&P upgraded Tesla to investment grade. October 7, 2022. Tesla gained its investment grade rating from the S&P today. Moving from BB plus to BBB. Based on the company's strong performance in 2022 so far. Tesla gained the BBB rating on Thursday. Officially moving out of the junk category and into investment grade which is considered from best quality to good quality but somewhat vulnerable to changing economic conditions. According to Thomson Reuters Practical Law, Tesla Inc. S. reported production and deliveries for the nine months ended September 30, 2022, were higher than our expectations and the ramp-up in its global capacity appears on track to meet the strong demand for its products into 2023. The report said. We now view Tesla's credit profile more favorably because it continues to demonstrate market leadership in electric vehicles EVs. With solid manufacturing efficiency that supports strong EBITDA margins and sustained positive free operating cash flow FOCF. Above our previously established upside triggers. S&P also stated it now expects Tesla to sell 2 million units in 2023. Up from its previous outlook of just 1.5 million units which it could technically reach in 2022. This will help sustain its solid market share within EVs amid intensifying competition and aggressive launches by automakers globally, particularly in China and Europe. Tesla's financials, including sustainable free cash flow, have triggered the S&P to increase its rating of the automaker. In 2022 and 2023, we expected Tesla to sustain FOCF to sales of over 10%. Compared with our prior upside trigger of 2%. Backed by industry-leading EBITDA margins of roughly 20%. Compared with our upside trigger of 18% and well above our 10% threshold for above-average automakers. The S&P holds the right to upgrade or downgrade any company at any time. And it listed potential scenarios for both regarding Tesla we could lower our ratings if Tesla adopts a more aggressive financial policy with respect to shareholder distributions growth of its captive finance operations or other business segments, and acquisitions, such that financial cushion reduces materially, or it cannot sustain solid FOCF due to slowing growth or higher than expected spending we could raise our ratings if Tesla sustains its first mover advantage as EV demand expands and competition intensifies such that its global light vehicle market share appears likely to exceed 5%. It appears likely to sustain its recent track record of free cash flow beyond 2024 and it remains committed to a prudent financial policy in line with a higher rating. The S&P stated it currently projects Tesla at around 1.5% market share globally in terms of the light vehicle market, which is estimated to be roughly 80 million cars this year. Tesla has been upgraded several times since 2019 but has not been able to shed the junk category until today. Its most recent upgrade before today was in April when it was moved to BB Plus based on the company's Q1 results which indicated solid execution and prospects for robust free cash flow in 2022 amid supply disruptions. The organization wrote in a bulletin. Source reposted and summarized from Joey Clender at Tesla RT. My take it's about time. Now Moody's needs to get their act together as well. Tesla Megapacks kicking coal to the curb. October 7, 2022. The state of Hawaii is moving towards sustainable energy as it ends operations for the last coal-powered electric power plant at Oahu's Campbell Industrial Park. Tesla Megapack battery system is stepping in to fulfill the state's power requirements. Following the end of a 30-year deal on September 1 between Hawaiian Electric and AES Corporation to provide coal power via Hawaiian Electric. As an alternative to the energy gap left behind by the coal power plant. Plus Power LLC is using Tesla Megapacks to build a large battery energy storage system best in the state of Hawaii. This sustainable energy project is named Kapolei Energy Storage KES. KES is one of the world's largest battery energy storage systems, featuring a capacity of 565 megawatt hours. It will be charged using a 156 megawatt solar energy farm. State-owned Hawaiian Electric estimates the completion of the KES project in the first half of 2023. According to the state's electricity supply company, nine BES projects are scheduled to go live by 2024 on the island of Oahu alone FAQPDF by Hawaiian Electric. Last coal shipment arrived in Hawaii at the same time as Tesla Megapack batteries that will enable 24.7 sustainable energy, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said in a recent tweet. 
The retired AES coal power plant was the largest greenhouse gas emitter in the state of Hawaii and was alone responsible for releasing 1.5 million metric tons of carbon dioxide annually source Hawaiian Electric press release. The capacity of a single megapack battery is 3 megawatt hours. So to set up a 565 megawatt hours energy storage system BESS. Around 189 megapacks will be required on the KESS project site. Megapack stores energy for the grid reliably and safely, eliminating the need for gas peaker plants and helping to avoid outages. Each unit can store over 3 megawatt hours of energy. That's enough energy to power an average of 3.600 homes for one hour. With the help of Tesla's megapacks, Hawaii will be able to sustainably handle peak hour electricity demand. Interestingly, like Tesla's electric vehicles, the company's energy storage systems the Megapack, Powerpack and Powerwall also get periodic over-the-air software updates. This means that the product automatically gets better over time as new software is downloaded, without any extra cost to the customer. In the past, Tesla also built a Megapack sustainable energy storage system at PG&S Moss Landing. California site. Source reposted and summarized from Iktidar Ali at Avanex. My take it's about time. Coal needs to be gone. Tesla replaces ultrasonic sensors. October 7, 2022. Tesla is replacing ultrasonic sensors USS with Tesla Vision by removing them from its Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. Over the past year, Tesla removed radar from its vehicles as it shifted to Tesla Vision. Its camera-based autopilot system. Tesla explained that the change coincided with the launch of its vision-based occupancy network that's currently used in full self-driving FSD beta allowing it to replace inputs generated by the software. With today's software, this approach gives autopilot high-definition spatial positioning, longer-range visibility, and ability to identify and differentiate between objects. As with many Tesla features, our occupancy network will continue to improve rapidly over time, Tesla said on its website. During the transition, Tesla Vision vehicles that don't have USS will be delivered with some features that are either temporarily limited or inactive. This will only be for a short period of time as Tesla transitions its vehicles. The features that will be limited or inactive are park assist alerts you of surrounding objects when the vehicle is traveling less than 5 miles per hour. Autopark automatically maneuvers into parallel or perpendicular parking spaces. Summon manually moves your vehicle forward or in reverse via the Tesla app. Smart Summon navigates your vehicle to your location or location of your choice via the Tesla app. Tesla will restore the features once they achieve performance parity through a series of over-the-air software updates. Tesla also expressed confidence in this strategy for the future of autopilot and safety for its customers. Tesla owners wondering whether or not their vehicle has ultrasonic sensors can look on the front and rear bumpers to see if the 12 sensors are there. Tesla also said that it will continue this rollout with the Model 3 and the Model Y globally over the coming month. Then it will follow up with the Model S and Model X in 2023. In August, Tesla Vision began rolling out to older vehicles with radar through OTA 2022.20.9 just after Tesla FSD Beta 10.69 had been released. Source reposted and summarized from John Acrider at Tesla RT. My take I assume this will make the cars more efficient. Tesla Semi officially enters production. October 7, 2022. Elon Musk has announced the Tesla Semi has officially entered production and the first deliveries to a customer will take place on December 1st. Musk made the announcement in a tweet this afternoon, saying that first lucky customer will be Pepsi. Musk did not specify how many of the Class 8 electric trucks will be delivered to Pepsi. Or if there will be a special live stream event for the occasion. The start of production and the first deliveries of the Semi mark a big step to Tesla. The Semi was first announced in 2017. And was originally supposed to enter production two years later in 2019. The program was delayed and pushed back several times over the years. Mainly due to battery supply constraints as Tesla ramped production of the Model 3 and subsequently the Model Y it was originally believed the first semi-deliveries to Pepsi would take place last year. PepsiCo CEO Ramon LaGuarta said during an interview with CNBC in early November 2021 that he was expecting his company to take delivery of 15 semi-trucks before the end of the year. That never came to fruition. But PepsiCo always looked like the customer that was going to take those first deliveries. Whenever they happened to be. 
Tesla has already installed a semi-megacharger at a Fritillet facility in Modesto, California. The only other megacharger that has been installed is on Tesla property at Giga Nevada. Musk first revealed the Tesla Semi would begin deliveries this year back in August. After the company updated the product page on their website with some new information and stats on the electric hauler. The Semi will be able to travel 500 miles. 804 kilometers. On a full charge. When fully loaded at 82,000 pounds gross combination weight. It will also be able to reach 60 miles per hour in just 20 seconds. Compared to as much as 60 seconds for a traditional diesel semi. Source reposted and summarized from Darren John at Drive Tesla Canada. My take the Tesla semi will disrupt the trucking industry for sure.